Betas like to burrow in Orbeez? Like a fishy bull pit. Oh my god. Hey guys, it's Dirty here. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm doing another Reddit video. I'm going to be looking at the highly requested by you guys r slash shitty aquariums. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> I know that's gonna be good. Um, so I've made a couple of Reddit videos now. I did one on r slash goldfish and one on the Xlore Reddit. And I really enjoyed making those videos. They're really fun and just kind of interesting. But today, we're just looking at r slash shitty aquariums. This is actually a Reddit that I am more familiar with. I have seen this Reddit before, but I haven't really gone too into it. Yeah, let's just see what's going on with this Reddit. See what we can find. I'm very curious. I don't really know where to start. I guess I'll like start with the uh, top post of all time or something. Oh. Oh god. Have I seen this? I think I have. I don't think I've ever talked about it though. I feel like I've seen this on TikTok maybe. Or something similar. I'm just so confused. Like why are they using this a spoon? Like a soup spoon? for their goldfish in this horrible bowl. And then like, so it, it falls out of the spoon, obviously, because that's what, that's gonna happen, you know? That's why nets are a thing, so they can't flop out of it. Um, or you can use your hands. So they just, they just pour water on it. Instead of helping it, instead of picking it up. Use your hands, my God. If you're scared to touch a fish, then don't get a fish. I understand like the panic sits in, but I feel like most people, their first thought would be to grab it, not to just like watch it and pour water on it for some reason. Why did she pour water on it? So then it probably fell on the floor and then she, I guess she left at the end too? Yeah, she just leaves. What? Why? Why? Help you poor fish. Like, come on, there's no excuse for this. Please don't. Don't do it. No! That was like a fever dream, just, everything went so fast. They put a koi, is that a koi? I think so. And like a, a, a crayfish, a crawfish? And, and a shoe? It doesn't even look like a good shoe, man. <laughs> okay, what? <laughs> it's like really big. Okay, maybe this is a joke. Um, still, they're still stressing out animals for a joke, which I don't think is funny. But I have seen real shoes. I think it was like an actual fashion trend. People would put goldfish in shoes and wear them. Humanity for you. It's so fun. Honestly, um, but yeah, I don't think anyone can wear this. I'll probably just break. So I got this new watch. Comment what y'all think. It has live fish. Thought it was pretty cool. So I'd show y'all. So comment. This reminds me of the sea monkey watch. Have you guys seen that? Like, that's the worst invention ever. Again, maybe they made it as a joke, but it's not really a joke when you're actually stressing out real animals to do it. Like, that's not really a joke to me. Yeah, this is on TikTok, I think. It's such a TikTok video, honestly. People on TikTok love finding new ways of, like, distressing animals for views. Um, and this is, this is definitely one I haven't seen. But if this is real, um, like, they actually brought a watch with fish in it, which I don't think they did, but I don't know. If this is real, those fish would die very quickly because they are getting no oxygen in there. This is something you would see in, like, mum Facebook groups, I feel like. Like, little little cute DIY aquarium and you can also grow herbs in it. I also like to think that the labels are actually the name of the fish because fish's name is oregano and basil. <laughs> is this real? This is like a hazard for your child and your fish. I don't even want a child to put their hand in my fish tank, let alone their whole body. <laughs> yeah, someone come with r slash shitty parenting. I agree, it should be in that. I can't tell if there's actually fish in there though, but either way, this is just bad parenting. <laughs> I'm not a parent though, so maybe I can't speak on that, but uh, I think parents would agree that they wouldn't let their child sit in a fish tank. Why? I jumped clean out of the water and tried to bite my mum's finger. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, what's the point in putting an air pump in there if you have it in a fucking bowl? Is that all food at the bottom too? Oh my god, I remember seeing this. David Dobrik had a beta fish in a bowl. Imagine being a YouTuber who makes millions of dollars and you can't even give your fish a proper home. That's honestly embarrassing. This is old, the fish is probably long gone now, but still. I see it a lot, not just on this. Betas like to burrow in Orbeez? Like a fishy bull pit. Oh my god. This isn't a beta fish group too. I imagine they got destroyed in the comments, as they should, because what the fuck? I'm gonna assume Orbeez are like, not safe to eat. 
So they're definitely not safe to put in an aquarium. They would definitely be leaching some kind of chemicals in there because Jesus. Honestly, like embarrassing. How can people post this and not be embarrassed? Also, don't all bees, don't they start out like really small and they grow bigger? So what if the betta fish like ate one while it was small and then it expanded inside the betta fish? I don't want to think about that, but that could definitely happen. You know, the tank actually looks like it might be a decent size, but then they just ruin it with putting Orbeez in a fish tank. What is wrong with you? This is so depressing. Can't even swim. Can't even fit on the basking platform. Uh, you wouldn't even call that basking platform. The water is like really murky. This is just so depressing. This poor thing. I haven't seen some. I've, I mainly see bad aquariums in restaurants though. Like they always have those super long tanks that are like. They're really long, but they're never wide enough. And they put goldfish in there and they're just not suitable for goldfish. Honestly, those long tanks aren't really good for any fish. Apart from maybe guppies, but still. Honestly, if I saw like a turtle in this condition, like no basking platform, I would probably, if no one's looking, just grab it. I'm not saying you should steal animals. However, I'm kidding. Honestly, if you do see this, like a similar situation to this, definitely try talking to the people there. I mean, usually like the receptionist or whatever, they're not the ones who take care of the animals, it's not their fault. But a lot of times they hire like a company that brings the tanks, maybe not in this situation because it's only like a small tank with a turtle in it, but a lot of places do hire companies that get the fish tank and they clean the fish tank and all that. And they genuinely like might not know that it's like a horrible condition for the animal. So it doesn't hurt to like tell them about it. I don't know if that actually works, but it doesn't hurt to try, you know. This is definitely a situation where I would talk to them about it because this is just horrible. But I would definitely not steal it. What are you guys chewing? Are you destroying my plant? Okay, that's not cool. No, don't do that. By the way, the plant they were destroying is bird safe, so it actually is fine for them to eat. I just don't want you to destroy it again. Oh, look at you two! You're so cute! You gonna stay on for long? Nope. There he goes. Okay. No way. And you hear your little grandson playing. Look what he does. Oh my god. So I guess the kid did it. Okay, which I was worried that they did this on purpose, like there were a bunch of teenagers that did it on purpose, but I guess a kid did it. I don't know how old the kid was, maybe they were like really young and thought they were helping the turtle or something, but Jesus. Shocking. And the tank is terrible as well, they don't even have a basking platform, so, or lighting or anything. There's so much stuff in there. The tank's so murky. Poor turtle. Like, how did they manage to get so much stuff in there? Surely it would have taken them a while, because there's like cans at the bottom too. Like, at least supervise your kids. I don't know. I don't know, man. Children are cancelled. I've seen videos similar to this, like people putting betta fish in vodka bottles for some fucking reason. This one's definitely one of the worst ones I've seen though. I haven't seen this before. I did, it's kind of crazy, like to me, a lot of it's like, how can you post this? Like, how are you not embarrassed by your like awful animal care, you know? And that you literally dropped it and then it got stuck in the bottle because the bottle's too small for it? Look. It's stuck because it's too small because you're not supposed to put a fish in there. So fucking funny. Putting your fish through so much stress. Yeah, hilarious, isn't it? <laughs> okay, I like this. I've actually seen this before. Did I take a photo of it? I think I did. At like a tech store. I saw they had a fish tank with a phone in it to show like it can survive being in a water. It was so weird, <laughs> but it's also kind of funny. Uh, clearly this tank is way too small for this poor fish. It's Clearly dying on the gravel here. Disgusting. Dick Smith. I Dick Smith is still a thing? Maybe it is in like Australia. Or this is just really old, I don't know. But I remember we used to have Dick Smith here and then it just it just died one day. And I haven't seen it in a long time. Rest in peace. Although didn't they like scam people? I think that's why they shut down. I'm glad I'm seeing lots of monster Mike here. Cause I felt like I was the only person who didn't like him and the other fish YouTuber gang that just 
as fish reviews, you know. But a lot of people talk about them on here, so. That's good that I'm not crazy. Because sometimes I feel like I'm crazy because people defend these people so much. But it's, it's kind of crazy that, like, the people that care for fish are, like, the minority. <laughs> Aww. It's not a bad aquarium, it's just like, poor flower horn. These guys are so funny looking, like, they're kind of cool, but also like, it's just such bad breeding, you know? But I like that they have a sign on it, so people don't, you know, wind them up and stuff, because these guys can hurt themselves so easily. Like, that's why usually you see them in like, very empty tanks, because they could just, just hurt themselves on anything. I can never tell if this is real. Do people actually like stalk this much and then just like wonder why they're dying? It does- it looks terrible as well. Like how do you not look at that and just think, maybe- maybe I have too many fish in this tank. I thought they were all goldfish too but I think they're koi. Am I going crazy? And there's some like bella sharks in there too? Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Oh my god, I remember Dorothy! I used to watch Elmo's World. Poor Dorothy, man. I never thought about it like that. I watched this as a kid. I wonder how many Dorothys he's been. Like, I wonder how many they've replaced. This is a Supreme fish bowl. Is this real? You think- this probably costs a lot, too, because, you know, Supreme people pay for the label, I guess, for some reason, even though it looks like sh bad. It probably costs a lot. I want to know how much this costs. This one's $84 for a fucking fishbowl. Hello? That fish just slapped that turtle. That was kind of impressive, but also awful. Why would you put these two together? That fish is going to be eaten soon, but I kind of, I'm kind of impressed that, that fish slapped him like that. That was kind of sick. Well, that was interesting. I think that's all I'm going to look at today. There is a lot on here, though. I do feel like I will probably end up doing another one of these because there is so much on here, and it's kind of fun to make fun of these shitty aquariums and also, like, talk about why it's wrong. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Is any other like hair related reddits you want me to do next? Feel free to let me know. I'll see you guys in the next one. Where are you going? Where are you going, little man? Thanks for watching, guys. Bye! <laughs>